Well, babes and babettes, it is official that I have somehow figured out how to finesse a 20-minute makeup routine with faux freckles, a bushy brow, a pouty glossy lip, and all. So if you want to get this look and you're sick of looking like shit in quarantine, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Hold up. Friends, fam, babes, babettes, how the hell are ya? Lexi Luxury here, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, day 5,768 of quarantine. Boy, do I feel like a bag of potatoes. You know, we've just been chilling in our sweatpants. This is the first time I've put my wig on in literally weeks. Like, you guys, it is rough. My nails are looking crazy ratchet, and you know, I really have no excuse for that because I do my own nails. So I found myself wanting to look decent, but also not wanting to spend, you know, my normal hour and a half getting ready. I realize that I only have two looks. It's like a bag of potatoes or like a 10 that just walked out of a magazine like I did the in-between she's not there so we're gonna create her today this is hopefully gonna be like a quick little 10 to 20 minute makeup situation if you want to look not like you have been this is a makeup tutorial for you sis and uh yeah that's the tea let's go ahead and announce our comment winner for today shall we Shout out to our comment winner. If you want to be featured in my next video as a possible comment winner, it's hella easy. All you have to do is leave a bomb ass comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content while you were bored as fuck at home. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and give this video a big ass thumbs up if you like it already. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, starting off strong with the brows. I'm wanting to do a bushy brow for this and I'm super pumped because it actually turned out pretty well. I'm using my Anastasio Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown and I am just creating a little shape on the bottom portion just to make sure that that looks good. We are are gonna go back in and clean it up so it doesn't have to be perfect and then I'm just adding hair like strokes towards the top section I'm not creating another shape on top if you guys notice I'm just doing the hair like strokes and then I'm kind of pushing the excess product from the bottom portion of the brow up just so there's no harsh lines and everything's you know a little bit more blended and then I'm grabbing my little mini better than sex to face mascara I think I got this in a birthday gift but I'm wiping off the excess mascara off the paper towel and I'm using it as a brow gel guys this is literally so so key if you have thin brows. I actually got this idea from Alyssa Forever. She's been doing this for years now. It just gives you a really, really nice bushy brow look for this look as well. And then just going in with my absolute favorite, 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 favorite concealer. This is by Urban Decay. And it is the Stay Naked Concealer. And I'm in the color 50WY. I believe that means like warm yellow. But I'm just cleaning up underneath my brow. As you can see, I want the bushy look. Okay, so we're not going on the top and cleaning it up. We are just doing this bottom portion. And I will say this makes the entire look just by having those clean brows it makes you look like you spent more time on the makeup look than you did and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face. So I'm using these Soft Focus Glow Drops. I actually got this in a FabFitFun box, but I'll link everything down below for you guys. Just gives you that really gorgeous dewy look since we are going for a really quick, like dewy makeup look. And then grabbing my all-time favorite foundation and moisturizer. Yes, we are mixing the two today. I have the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation and my Monate Be Gentle Moisturizer. As you can see, this moisturizer is empty. I actually used all of it because it's that good. And I just grabbed a little bit of my foundation and a little bit of my non-empty moisturizer put it in there so I could mix it up and just kind of create my little concoction and yeah you can see it's still like a pretty decent coverage it's obviously not as heavy of a coverage as the normal NARS radiant longwear foundation offers but that's exactly why I mixed it with like this dewy hydrating moisturizer so I'm just using this brush which is super different for me you guys I never ever ever use brushes for my foundation but it just gives me the perfect finish that I want for like a very quick makeup look and then grabbing my favorite concealer again and just hitting up up the portions of my face that I want highlighted. I'm grabbing a little Real Techniques brush, which is actually perfect and my favorite brush for this look to blend out my concealer. It gives it that really nice like airbrushed look, you know what I mean? bringing out the Huda Beauty Blonde Baking Powder for this one because I don't want my under eyes to look super white. I do want them to be bright, but I want them to have more of like a natural skin hue. So I do like that that has like a really nice yellow undertone. If you're a lighter complexion than me, you could definitely use the banana color and I will link that down below as well.
Oh, and this is live footage of me realizing that I was not recording the whole time I was doing some faux freckles, but I am using a little eyebrow pencil for this. It's by Iris Beauty, but I ended up using a different method because of that reason right there. Totally messed up. It's way too easy to do that when you have a pencil in your hand. So I did have to fix that up. Luckily I was able to, but I actually switched to a different method. I just started putting a little bit of like a dark brown eyeshadow onto my beauty blender. And then I just stamped it right under my eyes, exactly where I wanted those freckles. That was definitely a way better method highly recommend that way you guys and then i'm taking a little bit of my powder back on that real techniques brush and just kind of blending it out so it doesn't look so apparent that i have these faux freckles on and then of course we're diving straight into our bronzer ah uh, you know i'm a mixed girl but not being in the sun it's hard to tell so the bronzer definitely saves my life here i'm using my sunlit bronzer in the color bronze bondi by becca cosmetics wow that is a mouthful but it is my favorite color for my skin tone if you're a mixed girl or if you have skin tone like mine it's very fair, but you still have a little bit of that melanin in you. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome bronzer that I've been able to find. It has those nice orange undertones. So if you have undertones like me, it's perfect for you. And then this is a very new thing I did. I took a little brush here. I put a little bit of bronzer on the bridge of my nose. And guys, this is my new favorite thing to do. Like, I don't care what makeup look I'm doing now. I'm always going to do this. And then of course I did add a little bit under my lip because you know, that is my signature and my favorite to give me that pouty look with my lips using an oldie but a goodie one of my faves my sephora powdered highlight in the color golden hour this color is honestly stunning they have another one called high noon that is also a really gorgeous color it's a little bit deeper just putting this on all the points of my face that i want to bring forward y'all know the tea making my face look a little bit more glowy a little bit more healthy and of course we gotta get the inner corners because I love that like baby doll big eye look. I'm not even doing a lower lash mascara for this look y'all. So you are just gonna have like the prettiest, youngest looking face for this. And then grabbing my new favorite lip combo. This is my Kat Von D bow and arrow lip liner. And then I actually have a Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy Teigen collab. For the lip liner, I am still gonna do a little bit of overlining. I have like super high Cupid's bow as you can see. So I'm just kind of like accentuating it a little bit, adding a little bit of color in between my cupid's bow to give it like that super gorgeous like pouty instagram filter look and then i'm just filling it in with this gorgeous lip gloss guys like i said this is my favorite lip combo lately i don't know when i'm gonna be switching it up but it's not anytime soon But once we have our lips done, that is literally everything. Oh yeah, and then one more thing. I did decide to add in my favorite iconic London setting spray. And this is like the darker golden color. As you can see, it gives you like a super gorgeous glow from within type of look. And yeah, it's just my favorite. It also will set your makeup since we didn't do a setting powder on the rest of our face. But that is absolutely everything, loves. And now you are going to see the finished product. Guys, can you believe this? All of this in 15 to 20 minutes. Like, thank God. This is exactly the type of makeup routine that I needed. So I'm hoping that I could help some of y'all out there who needed one too. Thank you guys so, so much for watching till the end. I love y'all so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification and give this video a big ass thumbs up if you liked it already. Oh yeah. And follow me on Instagram, you guys. Don't forget to do that. Okay. Love you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.